The NASUWT said the example given in today's statement was not an isolated incident and says it's not acceptable to have to work under these conditions. It is a problem. It is a problem that we've highlighted now for, for quite a long time uh, and nothing much seems to be done with some classes in particular. Um, some of the new bills, I, I assume, are, are well heated. We actually asked, I asked the, the office manager to, to ask other schools whether there were issues of, of inadequate heating. And I can tell you that there are, not just in one school, but in a number of schools, there are problems with, with, with the heating systems. The union says each classroom should have its own thermometer and that it's against the law to be in a room that's less than 18 degrees. And, I mean, this morning one of the classrooms that I walked into was 10 degrees. Um, just imagine sitting in a classroom 10 degrees uh, and even after the, the heating was switched on for about an hour it only went up like 3 degrees which again uh, 13 is not acceptable. Well given that this is an ongoing issue what's the response from government been? Well, usually the department sends in uh, all, all, all the people who work there who deal with, with these issues uh, but again nothing seems to be done uh, which is effective enough. I mean, what we want at the end of the day is, is just a normal temperature. 18 is not uh, that's that warm either, so it's not that it's expensive heating. Um, we want that in every single classroom, in every single school, and we want the official side to make sure that that happens I in effect. Well, is that a realistic proposition, given that government is well underway in building these new schools? Uh, does it not make sort of financial sense to just wait until the new buildings are ready? Uh, absolutely not. I mean, I, I've been teaching one of the classrooms this past few days and my hands were freezing cold. Uh, it's as bad as that, so no, we can't wait. In answer to GBC questions, the government agreed that some schools were deficient in infrastructure, which is why eight are being rebuilt. And in these cases, there are challenging issues which are nevertheless dealt with as best as the infrastructure allows. Government says it currently has an officer dedicated specifically to assessing all the schools for infrastructure problems to ensure that these are removed in the schools not due for replacement and minimise for the next two years in those that are. The GTA, it says, are welcome to make their specific complaints known to the Department of Education and these will all be looked into without delay. The department said it will ensure that the correct environment exists for pupils and teachers.